Jurassic Park the arcade game hit the US in the year 1994, very shortly after the summer blockbuster hit theaters in 1993. The arcade was an on-rails shooter where you and another player could sit in a huge arcade cabinet made to mimic the backseat of the Jeep used in the Jurassic Park film. The cabinet itself had motion mechanics. It would bump and vibrate to the events happening on the screen. You drive through a few key locations seen in the film, such as the raining Dilophosaurus area, the open field where Dr. Henry Allen gets chased, and of course, the famous T-Rex sequence. Strangely enough, the game didn't have a light gun or mounting guns, rather a pair of joysticks that would allow you to point and shoot at the screen. The controls are a little awkward, and the fact that you have unlimited ammo is fun, if a bit off-putting. A thing to keep in mind, that in 1994, Jurassic Park was insanely popular, very similar to Disney's superhero craze in 2016. It was f everywhere. However, much like anything that's insanely popular at the time, comes the cheap cash-ins. And although the game looks fun, and it is, the entire game can be beaten in less than 15 minutes. The whole gimmick of the game was the Jurassic Park branding and the motion moving arcade cabinet. The graphics are almost on par with Super Nintendo games at that time, which is saying a lot. And the game didn't look as advanced or as nice as other on-rail shooters for that time. And the arcade game didn't really include any assets from the films. Other than the dinosaurs and some sound effects, the music was completely absent from the entire game, and so were most of the characters. Until you got to the end sequences. Apparently you've been shooting these animals with beanbag rounds, as they appear to be fine. The game spawned three sequels, each with its own unique arcade cabinet. The Lost World Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 3, and the newest one, Jurassic Park Arcade, which came out in 2015. As far as on-roll shooters go, this was pretty mindless. Obviously more time could have been put into it to make it better. Have a request for an arcade corner? Tweet me and include hashtag arcade corner. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place, you're on shacknews.com. Next time on Shaq's Arcade Corner.